I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. Well, I'm proud to hold in my hand my new iPhone 5, had it for a month or so, and it's really neat. Well, one of the great new features with the iPhone 5, and it really came about through iOS 6, is a panoramic photo feature. And this is something you folks with the Androids have had for a while, but finally we have it, and I think it's a great opportunity for sublimation success. Uh, because now with you folks out there that want to take panoramic features, your clients, uh, we can do some really neat things with it and the resolution of the iPhone 5 camera gives us a lot of flexibility. So what I did recently in an event, I took a few really neat panoramic features at, a, at the Best Robotics Competition, which Condi is a, is a sponsor and a mentor, and me being electrical engineer, robotics is, is right up my alley. So we had a lot of fun. So what I'm going to show you is what I did with one of the features. Now, got a mural on the table here and I've already partially finished it. I got one tile left, so I, I took a photograph that, that from the competition early in the morning when the field was empty, and we've tiled this on four Unisub Chromalux white metal tiles. Now, each one of these tiles is, is 12 by 12 inches, so photograph uh, the way I tiled it was 12 inches by 48 inches. And when we blew it up to that resolution and tiled in Corel, we had a working resolution of about 200 dpi. Now the photograph has a little bit of fuzziness in it, but I'll tell you what, the colors look good and it really looks good. And I finished all the tiles except for the fourth one, so I'll press that for you. But this would be a great gift um, for folks that, that, um, that are taking these, photograph these panoramic, panoramic images. I'm going to give this mural to Robin Fenton which she's the lady in charge of, of the best robotics competition here. So the, the, the takeaway message for you out there in sublimation world is when you see your clients that have these kind of phones, uh, the 4S or, or 5, tell them, hey, look at what we can do with your panoramic images. And I got to tell you, um, I just can't wait to uh, see some of the results. And so if you're doing this already or, you, or you're motivated to do it, Post your results in our client gallery at Condi.com because it's very exciting. Um, I, I think there, there's a lot of value with, with tapping into to what you can do with these smartphones and things like that. And, and I assume you can do panoramic images with the nice cameras as well. Um, I need to learn a little bit more about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the heat press. We're going to press this last tile. Now this last tile, I decided to take the competition's um, logo and put it in the the area on the last tile because that was a little bit empty there uh, as a scan but uh, just just gorgeous and and let's see if we can finish it well we have our handy George Knight this is a DC 16 uh, swing away pre press it's great so what we're going to do first is we put our um, uh, butcher paper on the bottom we'll take our transfer and put it next and we'll swing it this direction here Make sure it's uh, well within our platen. Uh, here's our Chromalux white metal. I chose the glossy, and we're going to position it face down here and get it in the right spot here and do it. Um, I've given myself a little bit of bleed between the tiles of about a half an inch. So when I did my tile, I broke it so that I've got about a half an inch gap so that when we mount it on the wall, um, it's going to look really nice, really nice, okay? And so now I'm going to reach over here and grab my, my butcher paper, put it on the top. Um, generally, I'd recommend most people put heat tape to hold the transfer down, but if you are kind and gentle with swinging the press, uh, you can get away without that. And I'm going to press at 400 degrees, minute 30, medium pressure, meaning it's two-handed pressure. And there we go. So after we're finished, um, we're going to put the blocks on the back uh, of this last panel, and then it's ready for mounting. Um, these really go, that look very nice in, in folks in a business or in, in folks' living room, things like that, in a hallway. Um, they just, they really add a lot. Um, we could use, um, in the Chromalux family of metals, there's a white glossy, a white matte, a clear glossy and a clear matte, and it depends on really what you're, what you're uh, sublimating as to which finish 
might look the best um, on 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 portraits and, and some artwork and graphics things like that I like the the clear finish myself it, it, it really it, it gives you a different look a different dimension and that clear um, uh, because of the thickness of the unisub coating um, it really it, it gives it a 3d dimension it gives it color depth because the light is is hitting the sublimation continues to it hits the back of the chromalux panel and then bounces out so um, you know we've got some really nice um, um, looking uh, finishes for the chromalux and just just really neat um, so we're almost done here and um, and then we're going to take it out and we're going to put it on the table put our blocks and we'll be ready to see our finished piece okay now it's time to open our press and we'll remove our cover sheet one thing I failed to mention is that when you're playing with the metal it more normally has a peel coat and um, so you want to make sure that you remove the peel coat we're going to flip it over here like that and, um, and start letting it cool and you can tell from the uh, look of it we've just got some superb colors don't you love those colors they really grab you got some really good dark spots that, that show you uh, the, the great kind of, of contrast that you can you can achieve with uh, sublimation uh, here we go. We're going to put the uh, blocks on the back for mounting. So we're going to flip it over and we're going to use two blocks. Uh, one is a bottom block um, so that the panel wants to float on the wall uh, evenly. And these blocks have double side tape on them and you peel it off and we'll put it down here. This one's not critical as far as the placement of it. The, the others are critical. The big block on top here um, is critical. And, um, and generally I'm going to use a tape measure. So what I do is, is again, I'm sure somebody come up with a better suggestion. That's my spacer block for how far from the top. And then on our tape measure, um, I'm going to go exactly six inches in, um, and that's where I'll put this block. So uh, we've got about six inches right there. And um, we'll go center line right there. And we'll pull it up. So that's where we're going to pull it. Put it right there. Okay. Right there. And um, so we'll move our tape off. And I'm sure people out there that do this for a living are probably have a little bit better suggestions than I do on how to do this. Um, but it works for me. And so there we are. We are good to go right there and we'll push down right there okay so we've got six inches to the center of the tile 12 inch tiles got a little bit of space from the top and we are finished and we'll turn it over and, uh, and I made I did my uh, did my layout so that we're about we have about a half an inch gap about a half an inch gap in there and um, to me that looks just darn good uh, darn good um, might sell for three hundred dollars something like that um, uh, be interesting to, to hear some of our clients out there speak of what what it would sell for but again it's uh, unusual and uh, it's it's a feature that that many people are going to have walking around in their pocket is their panoramic feature so uh, you might get familiar with that feature, learn how to use it. It is, of course, very easy to use. And uh, look at the added dimension now that you can use with just some simple tiling. We have videos that show you how to tile. You can always call us. We can walk you through it. So I hope this has been a fun thing for you. I hope this is something you can put in your toolkit to show your clients. You obviously need to do one for yourself, put it on display in, in your shop. Put it on your website, uh, let people know that they can now tap into this uh, great new panoramic feature. Well, this has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Till we meet again.